but it takes a while to learn how to use your legs and feet this way. I'm gonna bring her leg uh, down back to neutral again. And then what I wanna slowly do is go into soleus and the gastrocnemius. Uh, gastrocnemius comes from the same root word where we get gastrointestinal tract or bellies, the bellies of the gastrox. And what I'm gonna do is slowly work on that and then a little bit of tib anterior probably, maybe a little bit of uh, the peroneals generally. Also, I find it interesting. Anatomically, did you know that they changed the name of Peroneus Longus? Okay, because when I found this out, I went, oh, come on, guys, really? I got to be in anatomy in school. Now you're just changing names on me willy-nilly? Like, this isn't like Pluto. This is part of our body. <laughs> it's the peroneal, so. <laughs> so to be able to access the gastrox, to be able to access the back of the leg, which is where soleus is the deeper muscle. People are typically having more issues with that than the more superficial gastrox, but they generally are kind of treated in, in a very similar manner. What I'm gonna wind up doing is just completely changing the body mechanics on this, and I want you to watch this. If you're a massage therapist, please, if you don't do anything else we do today, this. Calves. The runners, cyclists, who else has calf problems? Crossfitters, Crossfitters. Uh, martial arts, martial arts. Yeah, okay. Try, I was trying to think of other activities that might yeah. use their calves more. Honestly, women who wear heels, or yes. anyone who wears heels. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not as familiar with that one. But, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. Up. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a very, very broad tool to work on our calves. This. And she's like, no, I'm running. So I'm going to lift her leg, and I'm going to use my leg. Do you see that I'm not stacked up like this? This is, is sharper and would definitely be meaner. This is, is sitting in almost like pigeon pose on this leg right here, which means I'm trying to get the bulk of her calf right on top of my big, broad thigh right here. Now, I'm gonna use her leg like a rolling pin to work on my quads and my adductors. I just trick the client into working on me because I need a break. I'm tired. I work all day. These people, what do they want? Oh my God. I'm using this like a rolling pin, just rolling her leg out on my thigh. How's that in your calves? Yeah. But not run away. Not run away. It's not sharp. Not a number. Yeah. Run away. If I decide I want to need to scoot down a little bit, scoot up, I can. You don't want to put any pressure like behind the knee into the popliteal space here, but otherwise it's a very, very easy uh, move to do. And then we're going to add the tibialis anterior on top. So when we talk about the peroneals, I've got my fingers pressing in right here. You probably can't see through me, no? You probably see right here. You can see my, my fingers into the peroneals kind of to the side here. I'm not feeling a lot of tension in this on Danielle. This, this seems pretty, pretty open, but when I get into here, that's the one that I, uh, like. you rolled it, you rolled it. So usually on the tibialis anterior, it, it, it tapers towards the ankle, gets thicker towards the knee. I usually want to start halfway or two thirds of the way up. And here's the really nice thing about this. I'm still going to work on her calf, I'm still going to work on gastrox, still going to work on soleus, but I'm going to work on tib anterior at the same time, which means we're addressing three muscles and the bulk of the lower leg all at once. And here's how it is. You ready? This is how crazy it is. Hey. So now I'm compressing from both sides and I'm, I'm checking her hybrometer because immediately she's like, eh, like trying to find out what's going on. All I'm doing is I'm maintaining that pressure in the posterior by pressing her into my leg and I'm using my broad elbow to be able to press down into tibialis anterior. She starts doing some active mobilization, just moving her foot there. People who do athletics tend to want to do that in my experience. 
once once they the client has been trained, they tend to do this on their own without even me, you know, prepping them, coaching them. You dying? That's great. Great. I'm gonna back off for for just a second, and then she just let out. I don't know if you could hear it. What did you feel? I felt the blood run rush back. Yeah. I felt things releasing, and I felt it like deeper in in the coleus, also addressing. Normally, I think because I'm pressing from the top and the bottom. Sometimes because this is a little sharper, it's like people will focus on this, yeah. and they forget about the lower part of the leg, the back side, the posterior. And then when I let go is when they realize, wow, like that was all compressed and I didn't, it was like you just sort of integrated it into your nervous system.